primarily there's a lot of vocal recording done in here, but I could think of at least six different times where I've recorded drums in here, and it sounds like a gymnasium. It's very strange. The way that, that the same guy Vince that I spoke about earlier designed this room, and um, something about the way that he angled the walls, it sounds way bigger than it looks in here. With the previous configuration of the room, which was a digital console, and you know, it was sort of like a bare bones setup, just good enough to, for hip hop production. I think it was great. People came in here and worked on beats, and it was great for that. But there are a lot of rooms that do that, and you don't need to be in Manhattan. But at the same time, we noticed that there was starting to be a drop off in the sort of classic New York mix room, which, you know in my experience, has been a combination of often Augsburger speakers and a G-Series console. And so many records in this city have been mixed on that. And we saw that vacuum starting to occur, and that definitely guided the decision. Not to mention, I mixed the Sleigh Bells record in here as well as the, as the Magic Kids record. Completely different. Um, but the board is, is, is pretty universal. With Sleigh Bells, we were not trying to get analog warmth or anything like that but it was I did use the bus compressor to kind of get a bit of smack and the EQs on it are great but a lot of times I was really just bringing the faders up on that whereas the Magic Kids record was old school like I was cheek to cheek on the console every single you know fader utilizing every EQ um, there was a lot of tracks it was like mixing an orchestra one mic like listening to sleigh bells in here is like you're witnessing like a Godzilla movie or something, but it's really happening. I mean, sometimes th those records were so fun to listen in here, cranked. We had a couple of moments where uh, we were doing playback parties, or you know, for people that were involved in the record, and we would just open it wide open. I would just sit and watch everyone's faces rather than having people like plugging their ears. They were all like vibrating. They were so excited to hear it. I mean, we made that record so it does kind of sound that way even at a low volume. Mm. It sounds like something really bad is happening. <laughs> um, but when it is loud, which I think is the, the preferred playback scenario for that record, and on, on these speakers in this room, it was just, just amazing. I still love, I mean, I just... This is like the only place I listen to that record is in this room. Because every other place is sort of a, it's definitely not the same thing.